Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. In this video, I'll walk you through how to send a video using a Google Drive link on your iPhone. Let's get straight to the point. First, to send a video via Google Drive, you'll need to upload it to the cloud service. This is the first and most important step. You don't necessarily need the Google Drive app, but I highly recommend downloading it from the App Store if you plan on using Google Drive more frequently or uploading multiple files in the future. That said, you can also use Safari to log into your Google Drive account if you prefer. Once you're logged in, whether through the app or a browser, navigate to the folder or location where you want to store the video. While this step is mainly for your own organization, it's still useful to keep things tidy if you need to share more files later. Once you've selected the right spot, tap the plus icon, then select Photos and Videos from the menu. From there, choose the video you want to upload from your iPhone's gallery. Now, depending on the size and quality of the video, the upload might take some time, so be patient. Once the video is fully uploaded, tap the three dots next to the video to access more options. Instead of tapping the Share button, you'll want to click on Manage Access. This step is key because it lets you control what the people you're sharing the video with can do. You have a few different options. You can give them viewer access, which is the most common and safest choice. This allows them to watch the video without making any changes. You can also allow them to comment on it, or if needed, you can grant editor access. But be careful with this last option. If someone is an editor, they'll be able to add or even delete files from your shared drive, including the video you just uploaded. So I'd recommend sticking with the viewer option for most situations. Once you've set the permissions, tap the link icon to copy the link. Now you can paste it into a message, email, or any other platform you're using to share the video. Anyone with the link will be able to access and view the video based on the permissions you set. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more tips and tutorials on using your iPhone and iPad. See you later.